We are Real Juicy News and we are bringing you this video review on Fun OS Linux. We are at distrowatch.com and reading some information on it there and it doesn't seem to be anybody that's made a comment on it which supposedly has worried the developer he's wondering if there's any interest in it so we clicked on the link provided to go to the website to check out information on it again and it basically says welcome to fun os a minimal fast and secure linux distribution built on ubuntu lts download it and put it to a usb it's only about 1.2 gigabytes very small so if you have a 2 gigabyte usb like we do then it should fit perfectly on there it's been found to have been said that it's very rare worldwide to get an 8 gigabyte they mainly deal with 32 etc well here we can get anything from 8 to 32 plus so there's no problem there these are these old usbs that we've had collected over the years okay so at fun os it says minimalist design it's built with minimalism in mind get the essential tools without unnecessary bloat well the downfall of that is it doesn't have all you need video making wise you have to download it through the terminal install it through the terminal i.e. a Vitamix a Vitamix video editor simple screen recorder or Voco screen NG etc fast performance it's not too bad using the JWM window manager fun OS is designed to run efficiently even on low resource machines so it's pretty good on your older machines that used to run Windows 7 or 8 we wouldn't really worry about Windows XP uh, it may work on that that's entirely up to you built on Ubuntu LTS get the stability and security of Ubuntu LTS with the speed of a minimal OS about Fun OS, Fun OS is a GNU or GNU Linux distribution based on Ubuntu LTS. It uses the JWM window manager, comes without Snap and includes the latest Ubuntu HWE kernel. Perfect for users who want a fast and minimal Linux experience without sacrificing st stability. And here's some more information here, which we have a look at. About it, we've already basically covered that. Uh, it's a lightweight and minimal GNU Linux distribution designed to provide a streamlined, efficient, and highly customizable computing experience. Built on the solid foundation of Ubuntu 24.04, LTS, Noble, Numbat, Fun OS combines stability, performance, and security, making it an ideal choice for both personal and professional use. It's pretty light on resources, etc. And there's all the key features. Snap free. Fun OS comes without Snap, ensuring faster application startup times, reduced disk space usage, and more control over software updates. By avoiding Snap, Fun OS maintains a lean, responsive system for users who value speed and efficiency. Minimalist designs and so forth, lightweight resource usage. Fun OS uses around 230 to 250 MB or megabytes of RAM when idle, providing a fast and responsive use of experience even on systems with limited resources compact ISO size the installer file ISO for fun OS is just around 1.8 gigabyte making it easy to download and install on a variety of systems ubiquity is sort of for easy OS installation and so forth why choose it performance stability customizability security and simplicity okay um about we cover that download screenshots these are the latest releases we had tried many of these uh, we tried this one here we believe works pretty good that's what we're showing at the moment there was another one 
damn small Linux it had a couple of options in and they just uh, Galena Etcher stated it didn't seem to have a partition to it it was just an image and they're like well why wouldn't it write to USB something was wrong there there's about two or three copies or versions of it even a compressed one we tried the first two and it just didn't work but this is a pretty good system but as you can see nobody's made any comments on it they probably never used it it says here it comes with LibreOffice or that sort of stuff but it doesn't yeah so this is basically what it has it's got the terminal file manager text editor web browser which is Firefox and that is in need of an update because it is Firefox 115 or something okay. ESR 64 bit we didn't seem to have a problem there with that usually it says you have to Firefox will tell you you have to update it to the latest we didn't seem to have a problem there as we did on many other distributions with that yeah so we have the terminal file manager text editor basic write your notes add links whatever web browser firefox 115 set wallpaper okay, you have all these wallpapers here let's see it's probably about 20 tops you just click on one Let's just choose one randomly looks like a nice scene and you just apply it you can have preferences we don't bother with that we just applied it and it should be on the desktop here you go very beautiful uh, documentation on it probably it'll tell you what it's all about online we've already covered that settings customized look and feel it's okay settings desktop preferences it says desktop manager is not active don't know why maybe because this is not fully installed on our system it could be that we are not too sure on that one install fun OS 24.04 keyboard and mouse make adjustments there like DMGTK greeter settings whatever there okay, click format Windows position, miscellaneous, debuggy mode, that sort of stuff. Monitor settings. It's probably already found it, so you don't need to muck around for and fix it. Only if you have problems. You have problems with it, probably. What else we got here? Mouse pad, screenshot, basic show pointer it's a mouse pointer window selection whatever okay go back to screen show pointer all the basic stuff text editor settings change it in the color scheme whatever plugins X Screen saver settings. You can choose for many. There's an ugly looking skull thing. Go into that. Abstract tile and so forth. It's quite a lot there. You have that's your display mode. Random screen saver. You can dismiss it, right? Settings. Disable screensaver. You can 
because sometimes it goes into effect while doing a video like this accessories file manager PC man FM calculator image viewer light DM GTK creator settings mouse pad don't know that cover all that screenshot text info vim x archiver nitrogen development icon browser maybe if you're someone who's creating something not really sure programmer whatever developer graphics document viewer image viewer internet firefox web browser multimedia we had to add video editor a vitamux you've got your simple players music players LMX music simple music player SM player and MPV media player okay we had to add these three add a Vitamux simple screen and focus screen for webcam got your office there's no Libre office there and your document viewer you could probably add your own office software if you wanted to file manager etc etc task manager UX terminal, uh, terminal and X terminal themes whatever your color you want background maybe reload menu this is a thing when you add something like you install it from the uh, terminal it might not show up so you have to reload the menu and then it'll turn up say if you added a VMAX it wouldn't be there until you push the reload menu it's kind of weird okay, uh, here's your logout there's no desktop items because that desktop setting wouldn't work wouldn't function there's no rubbish bin there you can't uh, set the icon bar here to disappear so you can't see it when you doing a video with that sort of thing uh, you've got your basic time your, turn, uh, your network connection and your applications desktop 1 desktop 2 it's basically it it's not too bad uh, we use it as a backup on this one uh, this 2 gigabyte USB that we have because sometimes something goes wrong with the Linux system or whatever we do something stupid so I have to reinstall it and we have all these CDs but they're old useless they won't pick up so we can reinstall a system but we have to go to just to watch the download MX23.4 again if we mess it up uh, and we don't have it on USB because we've put something else on there trialing something else bit of a pain so Xburner on our other system didn't seem to work to uh, burn uh, damn small Linux to a 700 megabyte uh, CD we tried suggested methods online and showed up but it just didn't burn the CD just kept turning over turning over turning over for some reason it was a brand new blank CD we've got some rewrites they don't do those anymore very rare we have a few of those but USB stuff is good copy the ISO file to the USB and then run it from there okay. so that's basically the pros and cons of Fun OS. You can download it from Distro Watch. There's a link there. Just click on that. We can go get it online directly and trial it. Yeah, we we would probably give it a at the most seven out of ten because yeah, it didn't have those uh, features on it that we really needed. Basically, it gives you that choice of what you want to put on there. We'd we say that for it. Overall, it is very light on resources, RAM, etc. Uh, nice little system. If you're a newbie to Linux, it's great. If we're able to learn the ins and outs of, of a Linux system. Real easy peasy. Okay, so if you like this video, 
click on the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, add your comments, we'll get back to you on those as soon as we can, and then go share this video with all your family, friends, and others. As its name says, it's a fun OS. It's free, it's light on resources, etc. And doesn't take up much room on a USB stick.